Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cool application. Uh, it's really simple and what it does is calculates the tip of a build, like let's say uh, you want to tip uh, the waitress or waiter like 15% but you don't know how to calculate that and add that onto your bill. Well, uh, I'm going to be showing you a program how to make that. Um, uh, this this is basically just for theory. I mean, you're not you're probably not going to have your laptop with you uh, and run this program, but it's just cool to understand how it works and how they make those applications for phones and such. Okay, so I started out by um, putting my openers. You just need the iostream.h and you need to open your program by saying int main two parentheses and um, a cur open curly brace. Okay, so I have three. Um, different variables but two ways to define them uh, you should define two of them by a double and one of them just by an integer so the two I've defined by double are bill and tip um, bill meaning how much you're paying for whatever you have uh, bought and then tip meaning the percent tip you want to uh, tip the waiter or waitress with and then I'm putting those uh, for double because with a bill you're going to have like some you're going to have some amount of cents with the dollar amount. And so if it was an integer, it wouldn't take those decimals. But since it's a double, it will. And I'm setting um, split, which is how many people are you splitting it with. I'm setting that with int because you can't have like 2.3 people. You want to keep it like two people, one person, whatever. So. That, that controls it, so if they input 2.3, it'll only uh, work as 2. Okay, so the first thing I have is I'm outputting enter your bill, and then um, the user has to input their bill. And now we're just going to use a while loop like we talked about, just to control user input. You don't have to put it here, but it, it makes for a better program. So I'm saying while what they've inputted is less than 0, I'm saying you can't have a bill less than 1 cent, enter your bill again, and then... Um, I'm having them input their bill again. Basically, just why would you input something like a negative bill? You wouldn't do that. Uh, most people that would know how to use any application would figure out that a bill would have to be at least one cent, but that's just for some people that uh, don't know that. And then um, I'm asking, and I make sure you see in bill there, uh, that that's just what my variable I'm defining as. You can define it as A, B, and C, or whatever you want. It just makes sense for me to define it as basically what I'm using it as. Okay, then the second thing I'm doing is entering the percent that you want to tip with, and then I'm having the user input the tip. So here they'd input like 15 or something like that. I, I'm, I think that's probably around the average 15%. And so then I'm saying while um, the percent that they've entered is less than zero, you can't give a negative tip percent, enter a tip percent again. That's just to keep them from entering like negative two, because it will mess up the math that we have below. Like the, I'm going to be going over a little little section of math that you have to kind of figure out on your own. It only took me like a couple minutes, but um, it, it will screw up like the whole equation. So that's why I'm adding these basically. Um, and then our third one, third uh, output and input sentences, enter how many people you are splitting the bill with. Okay, so um, normally you could you would just put one, but this it, this works if you want if you're um, if you have two people and you want to know uh, evenly how much you guys need to spend for the bill. So I'm asking that, and then I'm having the user input the split, and uh, same thing while the split while the amount of people you're splitting the bill with is less than one. I'm saying you can't pay with less than one person. Well, obviously, and that's just so. So it's really to control user input, but it, it's really just so we don't screw up our program. Okay, and then um, I have a little bit of math down there, and so I end I end the line to keep it a little bit neater. And then I said um, your tip is, and then this is where the math comes in. So think about what a tip. A tip is um, the percent. It's your bill times the percent uh, that you want to that you want to have. That's how many dollars a tip is except we inputted the tip as let's say 15 well you need 15 percent so you have to divide your tip by 100 then multiply it by the bill and that's going to give you your tip then you need your total price like your tip plus the bill so your tip plus the bill is the original bill and then just add this because this is your sense this is your tip and your bill is let's say 15 dollars you need to add your 15 dollars 
plus the tip, which we have defined as bill times tip divided by 100 over here. And that'll give you your total price. And now you have to figure out um, how much each person should pay. So to do that, you just take your total price, which we have defined as this up here, this long string right here. Uh, you have to just divide that by the split. Well, what is the split? The split is how many people um, is how many people you want to split the bill with. So that's really simple. Just it's it's obviously your total price divided by how many people. So like it's let's say it turns out thirty dollars and you're paying with two people. Well, then it's going to be fifteen dollars per person. So let's run this. I'm going to show you how it works exactly. I will be posting the source code in the description. And you can you can steal this. I, I'm uh, it's really easy, simple application. So let's just say uh, ten dollars, and let's tip with fifteen percent. And how many people are we going to split the bill with? Let's just say two. Okay. So your tip is a dollar and fifty cents. Uh, your total price is eleven dollars and fifty cents. And each person should pay five dollars and seventy five cents. Simple as that. Um, I'll run it again to uh, just show you that you can do large amounts, let's say uh, $150, you like you like to eat expensive food, that's a lot for a meal, but whatever. Uh, let's say you're, you're, you're really rich, so you're going to uh, pay a uh, tip with 20%, how many people are sp splitting the bill, let's just say 5, I'm just doing these as a random example. Your tip is $30, which is, because that's 20% uh, of 150 and then so your total price is $180 and um, each person should pay thirty-six dollars then. It's pretty uh, simple. Uh, notice that uh, I've set this up really neatly. If you know what comes after what, you don't have to add all this stuff. You can just output this, output this, then output this. But I'm just making it really simple by outputting the, uh, your tip is and then do the equation, then output the equation by uh, outputting again and then outputting dollars just so it looks like a nice neat sentence and then I'm doing the same thing for all of these. So that's uh, pretty simple. If you have any questions, uh, post them in the comments. I'll be putting the source code in the description. That's pretty much it for now.